الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري وعلى لقطتهم من لساني يقوه قولي فرزقار من رسينا كول دي ومن رأي قام کو میرے لئے آسان کر دي ومن زبان کی گرح سلجا دي تاكي لوگ میری بات کو سنا سکے I am Professor Sayyad Ali Hadha I am Professor, Visiting Professor of Medicine now to the Jinnasin Medical University Something about the lung infection, acute lung infection, acute inflammation of the lung. Scenario. It's given to you, a 75-year-old known asthmic and diabetic lady was attacked by high-grade fever with chills associated with dry cough and chest pain the last six days. Acute onset of high-grade fever with chills. She had taken full course of the Antitubical therapy last year on examination, patient was drowsy, temperature is 103 degree Fahrenheit. This is high grade fever, 102.5 crossing it means it is high grade. The pulse is 110 per minute tachycardia, blood pressure 176 by uh, 60. Definitely uh, diabetic lady, not compliant. Uh, probably and uh, she has tachycardia with hypertension stage 2 hypertension. Respiratory rate is 24 per minute. It is higher. Tachypnea is there. Bronchial breath sounds with the medium capitations heard at the right upper chest. Hemoglobin was 10 gram lower, lower hemoglobin. TNC is 26,500. It is 90% to glucose and neutrophils, so it is neutrophil lymphocyto uh, the glucocytosis, neutrophil glucocytosis. Lymphopenia is there, lymphocyte in comparison is 13%, percent is 4 uh, like 26,000 is higher. It is acute phase reactant, it is acute phase reactant, and ESR is 7. Not much higher. The renal blood sugar is 189. Sodium was 121, which is lowered down. Hypotemia, potassium is 3.8, it is normal. Bicarbonate is 25, normal. XHS, the homogeneous obesity in the right upper lung field. The question is very simple one is the differential diagnosis, and what are the further investigations, and afterwards, what is the most likely diagnosis, and justify your diagnosis, and how will you manage this case? In this type of the uh, scenario, case presentation will be in your life, whole life, you have to face it, remember. And uh, because uh, there is objection since many, many years that I have, I usually take more time than which is fixed for me. This is a problem. Time management is my problem. So tolerate this. Uh, time management problem so that you can understand why, what, why, what is the aim of mine is to give my knowledge as much as I can about this uh, scenario because this, this scenario for this scenario I can discuss two three hours no problem but for the final year people because I am delivering this lecture for the final year MBBS I, wa I want to limit my discussion to 40 minutes to 15 minutes I'll try my best. So uh, the other thing is, is that you have to calculate the data, the hard data and soft data from this uh, scenario, soft data and hard data should be calculated. Means that the old age is the soft data, for example, and uh, the patient was known as some asthmic and patient has got, he has positive ATT, last year full therapy was given, it is soft data. And the other one is the hemoglobin, for example, 10 gram, for example, it is soft data. Potassium levels or bicarbonate levels soft data. Because it will not signify one diagnosis, not limiting the two or three. 
soft data means that a lot of uh, differential diagnosis can be made. The hard data is concerned. Yes, the patient is diabetic, high grade fever, short history of high grade fever with chills, with dry cough, plus chest pain. And she is like got tachycardia with hypertension, with tachypnea, bronchial breath sound with the caps at the right upper chest wall, neutrophil leukocytosis, thrombocytosis, ESR raised, and the chest chest revealed the homogeneous opacity in the right upper lung feet. This is the hard data. It, so it limits the diagnosis, differential light. So, so like soft data and drag hard data from it. And make your differential diagnosis and then diagnosis. Most likely diagnosis of justification and give this justification. Now discussion that I will say that this is a consolidation, pneumonia. It is pneumonia most likely you say the consolidation, it is the word we use is distributology. If I say pneumonia, it is the clinical diagnosis. The definition is that it is the acute inflammation or the inflammation of the lung, the primarily affecting the macroscopic sacs known as alveoli. So it is alveolar in nature, in most probably. Because there is another type of a Inflammation which is in the interstitium of the lung, which is called interstitial pneumonia, it is not categorized in this condition. So, small species, the alveolar sacs and alveolar septas, and uh, they are involving, and terminal bronchial part of it is involved. Now, presenting complaint in this condition is clinically, which I, anybody, what I have seen in my life is written in, in these uh, slides. The fever, it may be with chills, fever without chills. Both are possibilities. Cough, it may be dry, it may be productive. It may be productive. It may be dry. Chest pain means that it's deeply inspired. The chest wall at the part which is inflamed with the associated pruritus will cause the pain. It's a pruritic chest pain. Breathlessness because uh, the lung volume is decreased. More than that, one third or more, and breathlessness will occur. Hemoptysis occurs because of the inflammation and rupture of the vessels which are supplying the alveolar sacs and the terminal uh, bronchiole. And it may be present as a part of the multi organ dysfunction syndrome. Lungs are involved, the liver is involved, the kidneys are involved, neurological problems. If the three or more systems are involved in the body, it is it's called the multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. Or it may be an incidental finding, in consolidation, for example, or, or pneumonia. I will say pneumonia. For example, in HIV, it is incidental finding. The patient does not give any specific history. Or complaints. Now this is the pneumonia main symptoms: central headaches, loss of appetite, mood swinging, systemic high grade fever, the chills or without chills, skin clumsiness and the blueness because of the spasms of the vessels, the lungs cough with the sputum or phalgum, shorter of the breath, prolific chest pain, hemoptysis. Heart rate will be increased. Heart rate, I say tachycardia, vascular low blood pressure. Here is high blood pressure because of the comorbid diabetes mellitus. The gastric nausea and vomiting, possibility. It again the reactive. It is the reactive. And uh, central uh, stimulation. It may be a central type of vomiting. Joints, the nausea, possibility is a part of it, as a systemic uh, syndrome, and the muscular. The fatigue and the aches are experienced by the person. The past history is important. Now, take the past history. Have you been any, ever treated before this condition? Number one. 
now today have you been vaccinated against the corona virus or you have affected by the corona corona virus in the near uh, past corona already near past so it should be asked always it should be excluded rather or it should be asked the near you get this pass is to have any admission in the hospital or receive the ventilation mechanical ventilation therapy or not and then you take this to the other diseases infectious diseases the tuberculosis like diabetes mellitus like hepatitis like chronic renal failure in the past rather have it and been been taken any therapy for anything drug history any drug allergy any history of the blood transfusion any history of the past history of uh, the travel abroad this will cover the past history from this the the same type of the disease as seen in the in in their uh, near near from the members or not brother for example one brother is involved the second brother is also also involved so infectious diseases should be ruled out in the family currently and you take the family history for any tuberculosis in the family or the diabetes or the hypertension and so on then you give take the history what is called as the personal history and in this case whether he smokes or not that is important or addiction to anything is important what is the profession is important and uh, personal history that any sexual contact by any means other than the family sexual contact which is definitely illegal contact was should be taken the married person should be asked about the satisfaction of the family matters then if you go to the socio economical condition and this will definitely asked whether what is the living environment how he, he or she gets the water supply and third question always be asked the economical history how does the patient is possibly uh beer the, the the expenses of the drugs or admission etc today it is a you know economical problem which is going on and government is not supporting the people and a money admission in the uh, you can say the private sector is concerning about 5 to 7 days will cost 80000 in the government sector a public sector even 10000 5 to 10000 will be spent you have to spend some money and the fourth point in this case of the socio economic history is that any history of the pets in the livings where the residents cats dog cattle etc is very very important point should be asked always we start with the general physical examination if the pneumonia patient the vitals temperature was high you see the pulse was high and it is of good volume and uh, there will be the respiratory rate was high yes of course and then we do the examination from the head to the foot all should be examined so there is sinusitis and anemia and uh, other things the neck pains and this ent eye examination and the condition of the skin and the abdomen and the thorax that is torso and uh, you have to see the lower extremities or anything and normally you find it pedal edema should be checked sacral edema should be checked so the nodes will be always be palpable whole whole groups actually to be cervical to the inguinal and even i will say some term what is the other deep 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 nodes will should be uh, should be also be examined it is not in the part of gpe 
needs to be examined the condition of the skin, the skin the nature of the skin and pigmentation etc or any rash associated with it now this is very important because the focus of the examination is respiratory system inspection the finding percussion finding percussion finding and auscultative finding on inspection what do you find in pneumonia that the part which is affected will be either it is bulging or it is less moving in comparison with other hemicorrhics on inspection technically and the patient the movement of the dead part of the chest is not equal to the other part which is normal and there will be a tenderness at that area which you are palpating trachea will be central underline it central in the acute inflammation of the lung it will not be displaced otherwise it is not acute inflammation and then going for the tactile vocal stromatus will be you will find the increased tv tactile vocal stromatus on that area which is involved and you will go for the percussion percussion not more will be done because consolidation is uh, you are uh, percussing the consolid consolidated area in comparison with the other area auscultation there are two important finding one is the the uh, site of involvement reveal the bronchial breath sound what is bronchial breath sound the inspiration is equal to expiration the intensity of the inspiration is is exactly equal to the intensity of the expiration and there will be a gap between the inspiration and expiration usually the expiration is a passive phenomenon active phenomenon is inspiration so there will be no gap here will be the gap and that is an important one the second finding you find either the medium capitation because of the inflammatory edema collecting at the area you find the inspiratory caps medium caps or the coarse capitation at that area and that is a very important finding and vocal fremitus f v f will be increased that is called bronchophony increase in the vocal fremitus is called bronchophony the bronchophony was present in and that area these are all hard data for this problem cardiovascular system is usually not involved in this case only the tachycardia first heart sound second heart sound there should be no added sound because there are no comorbid if there is no comorbid comorbids then the cardiovascular system should be normal the abdominal examination again depends if the comorbidity is there no abnormality will be fine you will not find anything in the abdominal examination and you will Uh, can you also do the musculoskeletal system you can do the nervous system where the patient ghcs is low here in this case it drops it it is 11 by 15 or 12 by 15 otherwise the reflexes may be normal may be exaggerated in this condition because of the septicemia she had septicemia in this case which i have just discussed probably the reflexes will be slightly brisk So investigation is, are the blood CBC, neutrophil leukocytosis, was there remnant of sugar, the diabetic patients, is a higher side, is 180 around, XHS revealed a specific con- consolidation, ureotretinine electron may be normal, may be abnormal, it is, it is the, you know, markers of the severity of the disease. And urea and DR, DR should be done with the pneumococcal antigen. A specific test for the pneumococcal. The sputum, DR, and culture should be done for this patient, and it reveals the positive organism, gram-positive organism probability. In this case, which I am, which I am discussing this case actually, and CT chest or other CT should be done in selected cases where there is the the treatment doesn't resolve it on the time, delayed healing, etc. A patient is not not responding to the therapy. XHS PLV, there is a homogeneous obesity. You see, the marks is there. This is this is the one. Compensative emphysema, and it is a it is a predominant uh, homogeneous obesity. There are four stages 
histologically of the pneumonia, lobar pneumonia, a stage of congestion, a stage of red hepatization, a stage of gray hepatization, and then a stage of resolution or complication. Here the stage of gray hepatization is shown where the some aerograms are visible. So it is non-homogeneous residue basically. It means that one, two, three aerograms are there. Rather four, five, six. So it is air brocogram pattern, KTI center, compensatory emphysema, emphysema. The random manner in a general measure should be done. Rest. The patient is high risk, it should, he should be admitted. Two lifelines should be given to the patient because this patient will collapse at any time because of the septicemic shock. And foot end of the bed should be lowered down to the in comparison with the bed, means the head end of the bed. Specific measures are the introduction, full dosages on the time should be given. The, the broad spectrum antibiotics. We use it usually the chlorinic acid plus amoxicillin, which is the drug of choice in most of the cases. Symptomatic measures should be done for the pain and for the dry cough. You can give antitussives and you give centrally acting drugs. You can give analgesics. Dietary measures should be done. Patients should eat the diet, proper balanced diet. With the alia and the clare, dood pilau, garam chine clare, that is wrong conception. The patient want anything, please give him. Because he is an electric patient. The total calorie, it should be 1500 calories at least per day. The fluid requirement should be fulfilled at least 3 liters per day. Should be done. Now, here are the preventive measures here are written, which means that. The vaccine is available. First of all, the mask should be used properly. Avoidance of the initiating factors, possibility. And thirdly, the vaccination, seasonal, it is a seasonal October, November, December. You give triple vaccine or pneumococcal vaccine to the patient who are at high risk, the old age patients, and who, who, the patient who had repeated attacks of uh, uh, lobar pneumonia. It is difficult to classify pneumonia because every book has got its own classification. I have classified it depending upon the site of involvement. It may be lobar pneumonia, it may be bronchial pneumonia, it may be interstitial pneumonia. According to the site of involvement, this is the lobar pneumonia with one segment, one lobule or one lobe is involved. It is like this. Now here you find the second one with a segmental type of the system segments are involved of the of the uh, of the lung fields and this is the one you see there is the opacities you find here the millilit type of opacities the whole uh, chest fields small small uh, nodular opacities very small the millilit shadow is a very very small one it is hardly 0.5 to 1 millimeter down this one, this one, this one, this one. This is bronchopneumonia. Both sides are involved. The bronchopneumonia should be bilateral. It's always bilateral. According to the etiology. Now coming to the site, then second etiological classification, the community required. Whether atypical pneumonia, it is a typical, it is atypical or nosocomial or separative and immunocompromised. American College of Pulmonologists are following this classification. Now, here the common etiology for the community a CEPs, streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus intransi, microvillus pneumonia, gram nectary, basilar, streptococcus aureus, monoxylla catalaris, legionella pneumonophilia. It is not included in our classification in this country. It is atypical. Chalmaria pneumonia is atypical, it is not typical. The viral influenza virus, parainfluenza virus, now coronavirally virus, coronavirus, a group of viruses which are very important nowadays, adenovirus and other hormone are the microbial tuberculosis can present, it is atypical. 
Members of this Karna are atypical, not typical. Although community required is possible, but typical in our country, not in their country. In our country, in Pakistan and India, the organs are most commonly involved in streptococcus pneumonia. The second one, which can be possibly hemorrhagic influenza, possibility of the other infections like the influenza or current for the coronavirus or RSV in children specifically the respiratory sensitive virus or adenovirus in our country. This is a typical phenomenon. Atypical means that some other in our country the other organisms are atypical for us. They are not typically, they are not commonly required, not typical. Typical pneumonia infection caused by the bacteria is most common cause of the community requires streptococcus pneumonia. And the most common cause of the nosocomial pneumonia is streptococcus aureus. Nosocomial pneumonia are the pneumonia which born in the hospital after 48 hours of uh, stay in the hospital. Atypical pneumonia caused by the pyocoblast by Shimadia pneumonia and viruses and uh, coronavirus and uh, ranavirus. Mycoplasma pneumonia. Typical pneumonia characterized by the neutrophilic infiltration and the presence of the intra alveolar exudates leading to constellation. But here, it, in the case of atypical pneumonia, lympho uh, infiltration and presence of alveolar septal and the intra septal inflammation with the absence of the alveolar exudates. There is no alveolar exudates. Pathogens associated with the nosocomial is concerned. Hospital born. Low risk pathogens are streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilia influenza, or methicillin sensitive streptococcus aureus, or resistant MRSA, they will coming here, MSSA, low risk. Acheritia coli, Gypsinia pneumonia, very important organism. Antibacterial species, high risk pathogens are Pseudomonas, in which the streptococcus is not written here, it is important here. And methicillin resistant streptococcus aureus, streptococcus resistant to the to the uh, methicillin that is one of the penicillin, and cyanobacterial species, high risk pathogens, proteus, vulgaris, for example. Again, this is high risk pathogens. Another type of pneumonia they call is superative pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonias, nepotal pneumonias means it's the same one. It's always called bronchon pneumonia. Reduced level of consciousness due to the cerebrovascular accident, alcoholism, drug abuse, dinanesthesia, or dysphagia, ecclesia, foreign body, nasogas intubation, or the severe jeers can cause the separative pneumonia. Gingivitis, sinusitis, bronchitis may result in the lung abscesses, multiple infection in the lung infarction. An infection with the urinary microorganism like the Clipsilia pneumonia and Staphylococcus aureus. This will cause the superlative type of pneumonia. In bacteria and the quantities of the right side, the superlative pneumonia occurs. Because of this septic emboli, they break and they will cause separation in both lung fields and will present as bronchopneumonia. In immunocompromised patients, smokers will cause this bad in immunocompromised, both are taken uh, steroids for a long therapy, the prolonged therapy. This common, still common organism are the streptococcus pneumonia in this case and mycoplasma pneumonia. The pneumocystis carna pneumonia is seen, very important, it is now called the pneumocystis gerozevi. The gerozevi is now is called as. At one time, it was not suggested that if this uh, organism is uh, fungus or a bacteria or a, or a parasite. They, they, now they have settled it out that it is actually comes under the category of uh, what we call as fungus. And the fever, dyspnea, and non productive curve is seen in this case, and in cities, uncertain it's acute in other American people. Otherwise, it will, it will not cause problems. It comes when the CD4 counts is less than 100. Stripes or hypoxia tried, you will give this cotrimoxazole, a combination of trimethyl 
pram and sulfamethoxazol it still is the drug of choice that is a pram assessment of cvdd should be done in this patient curve score 65 65 score this is the age you know confusion 65 or more in confusion the patient has got confusion and urea level are higher respiratory rate is more than 30 bp systolic blood pressure less than 90 diastolic blood pressure less than 60 age is 65 that is 65 give one point to each now in this person which i have discussed one point is this urea was normal respiratory rate was uh, high you can say to high the bp was not low lower age is high more than 65 one here one here and one here the three points the curve 65 score zero is low severity and home at home you will can treat One low severity at home treatment. Two, the patient score here is three. Two moderate and maybe possibility in the hospital or ICU. If it's in three to five, it is severe case and it should be admitted in ICU because of the high mortality. More is the age, more are the chances of mortality. Now this scoring system is superseded by this system. It's called port scoring. Clinical parameter age in the years, men age in the years 50 is more than 50. For women is more age is 50 minus 10, 40, and it is the resident, NH resident here. He is nursing resident here is in hospital. You will gain this scoring is 50. Here is a forty. Here is ten. Coma analysis: You place here thirty points. The weight is ten points. Congestive heart failure: ten points. CVD: ten points. Renal disease: ten points. Okay, this is the ten. This is a pneumonia patient. Outcome research team. Port criteria. Now clinical findings: altered sensorium, twenty points. Respiratory rate is more than thirty. Twenty point twenty. Systolic blood pressure is at 90, 20 points. Temperature is 35 uh, degree, more than 40 degree or less than 35. Hypothermia, hypothermia, 15 points. Pulse even 25 per minute. Tachycardia, 10 points. Investigation findings: arterial pH is less than 7.35, means it is acidosis. Rather, it is respiratory acidosis. The blood urea nitrogen is 30, 20 points, and serum sodium is less than 130, 20 points. Most of the cases less than 30 percent, 10 points. Blood glucose more than 250, 10 points. Partial pressure of oxygen in EBG, 10 points. And X-ray in in relation with the pleural effusion, which is seen if it is associated with the pleural effusion, 10 points. Now calculate these points. First of all, add all the points from this side and this side. Age in years, coma with illness, clinical finding, investment. These are the very good, uh, you know. Uh, parameters. The scoring system is very good. The scoring system is is if less than fifty one, chances of mortality morbidity is point one percent. Is it called class one? If the score you you have a score fifty one to seventy, point six percent mortality. Class three is seventy one to ninety scoring point nine percent mortality. Class four is ninety one to one thirty. In this case, it is she is in class four, ninety-one to one thirty, nine point three percent mortality is around ten percent. Class five is more than one thirty, twenty-seven percent. Higher, this is chances. My all aunts, including my mother, you can see indirectly, all are all deaths occur because of the pneumonia. All deaths occurred because of the pneumonia, and two of my uncles died because of the old age and in pneumonia. And in most of the cases, the very very famous actors crossing the age of 80 years when they have got pneumonia, they die. They they have not saved these patients. Even the very high class hospitals are unable to save these patients because of the poor score. 
Four school is very important. One can not remember, but you can you can understand it. How this is the management, and this is the scoring system of the output. The treatment is very simple. I would say that the mal you will always write the general measures and then specific measures and the symptomatic measures, the preventive measures, the dietary measures, surgical measures if needed or local measures if needed. Every everything should be you know written. Few words should be written. Then you can understand very easily. So you will revise this uh, video, video one or twice, and you can understand. Pneumonia will be covered. I thank you that you listen very well. Although I am not satisfied with I have discussed more points are remaining are there, but the final year it is okay and fine. No problem. Inshallah, Allah, we will meet, meet, meet again for the final year people, and I will try to cover the rest of the system as quick I, as I can. Allah Hafiz. Subhanallah, Bika Rabbil Zadiyah, Maya Sifun, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaik